Symbiosis is the word that defines the special beneficial relationships that have evolved between living things. On a recent trip to Mexico, I witnessed one of these relationships, insects and plants interacting in a remarkable way. These iridescent green bees are orchid bees, members of the genus Euglosa. They are visiting an orchid. When bees visit a flower, they are usually gathering nectar. These bees are visiting these flowers for a very different reason. We are watching an activity that has puzzled some of our greatest scientific minds, including Charles Darwin, and only recently have researchers begun to understand what is actually happening here. This yellow-flowered orchid is Mormodes badia. It is an orchid that can be found growing wild in parts of Mexico. As with most plants, its reproduction strategy requires that pollen be transferred from one flower to another. Orchids display an incredible diversity of shapes and colors. It is hard to believe that these dramatically different flowers are related. But botanists have determined that these plants are related and share similar organs and structures. This 3D model represents the Mormodes orchid. It shares features and structures that are common to most orchids. The two features that we are interested in are the labellum and the column. The labellum is a modified petal that often has a dramatic shape. Visiting insects land on the labellum. The column contains the reproductive organs. The tip of the column contains the anthers, hidden under a cap while the stigma is on the underside of the column behind the anthers. I'm removing the petals from this Mormodes flower so we can see the end of the column clearly. Removing the anther cap reveals the pollinia the two pollen masses. The pollinia are connected to a sticky pad, and as you can see, this sticky end securely binds the pollinia to the end of the tweezers. This sticky pad plays a role in insect pollination. Charles Darwin studied orchids extensively and may have been the first researcher to understand the role of orchid bees in the pollination of the Mormodes orchid. Early in his research he wrote, What strange creatures these orchids are. For instance, Mormodes, of which I have this morning examined another species and which supports all that I have said, but which has completely puzzled me. In 1861, with the mechanism for pollination understood, he wrote, I have had the hardest day's work at Catacetum and Buds of Mormodes, and believe I understand at last the mechanism of movements and the functions. An insect of large size alights, probably on the labellum, for the sake of gnawing the convex surface, or perhaps on the extremity of the arched and depending column, and then, by touching the sensitive point, causes the ejection of the pollen masses, which are affixed to its body and thus transported to another flower or plant. Darwin had explained the mechanism of pollination, but one mystery remained. Why do orchid bees visit Mormodes orchids? The orchid does not produce nectar. Darwin suggested that the bees visited the orchid looking for food, 
assuming the fragrance from the flower indicated nectar was present. Recently it has been discovered that the bees are not looking for food. What is actually happening here is complex and strange. If you observe these bees carefully, you will notice they are using their front legs to scrub the orchid. Looking closely, you can see the front legs appear to have brushes. After scrubbing for a short while, the bees take flight. They hover in front of the flower and rapidly rub their legs together. I keep honeybees and I recognize this leg rubbing behavior. Honeybees do this to transfer pollen from their body hairs to special baskets on their back legs. But these orchid bees are not collecting pollen. The pollen is locked in the pollinia. Another puzzling aspect of this process is the gender of these orchid bees. The bees visiting the orchid are exclusively male. Male bees appear to be collecting something from the orchid. Recent scientific study has resulted in answers to both questions. Why male bees and what are they collecting? Researchers have determined that these male orchid bees are collecting a fragrance from the orchid. The brushes on their front leg, combined with a waxy substance, pick up this fragrance from the orchid's labellum. The bees then hover for a few seconds while they transfer the fragrance to special structures on their back legs, called hind tibial organs. The hind tibial organ is inside the large pouch on the back legs of the bees. Material is transferred to the organ through a slit on the top edge of the pouch. Scientists studying these bees have observed them collecting other substances, including decaying plant matter, and transferring this material to these hind tibial organs. Why are male bees doing this? There is evidence that these hind tibial organs, once they are filled with fragrances and other materials, behave like many perfume factories, creating a pheromone that is attractive to female bees, luring them close to the male bee so that mating can take place. One theory suggests that a complex and complete pheromone confirms the virility of the male bee. This is a remarkable example of symbiosis. The bee transports pollen, playing a role in the reproduction of the orchid. And the orchid provides the bee with a key component of the pheromone needed to attract a mate and assure its own reproduction. For anyone who enjoys nature, this is a fascinating illustration of the complex relationships that have evolved between insects and plants. You can follow the evolution of this story on the internet. At our website, we have assembled some links related to orchid bees and symbiosis. Go to hyloroad.com slash orchids for more information.